So as you guys know, I do all my mowing with my Kubota BX. And when I mow my lawn without my front end loader on, the front end of the tractor tends to be pretty light. Uh, sometimes when I'm backing up down a hill and I stop, the front end will lift off the ground. Also, if I'm going up the hill and it's a pretty steep slope, I can feel the front tires wanting to come off the ground. Now, a lot of times I'll take my rear ballast completely off, which does help, but I still got quite a bit of weight back here with the quick hitch. My rear tires are filled and there's just no real weight on the front end here. So I think what I'm gonna do to solve this problem today is build myself a front weight bracket, which I've been wanting one for a while anyways. That way if I wanna use some rear implements on the back, like a grader box or a York rake, if I don't have my front loader on, at least I can properly balance the tractor, having some weight up front to compensate for the back. Um, so let me pull the tractor on out of here. We'll take the front end loader off. I'll show you guys quick what I'm talking about with the tractor, and then we'll get going on building this front weight bracket. Now, as you guys can see, I kind of got this little slope, this ramp going up into my shed. So this is kind of going to mimic a hill. I'm going to show you guys real quick what it'll do if I leave my rear suitcase weights on the tractor. So hopefully from that demonstration, you guys are able to see that if I'm on some kind of an incline, um, even if it's a slight incline and I stop abruptly, or if I push on a hydrostatic pedal too quickly forward after going in reverse, uh, how the front end can lift right up in the air. And this is obviously much worse when the incline is greater. So this is not much of a slope, but out back, I have some really, really steep slopes. And if I happen to be mowing one of those hills, the outcome could be even worse. So um, hopefully today we can solve that. My plan is to actually build like a little receiver hitch that is gonna be going right into my um, receiver here on the tractor. Now I bought this little hitch from eBay. Um, I think I paid like 40 bucks for it. You could build one of these really easily and it just basically mounts where the uh, front grill guard would go. I've got four grade eight bolts here holding it on and uh, they got a nice little hold down, tie down point here. Um, there's really nothing to it. You just got a piece of square stock, you got a piece of angle iron, and basically you just weld the square stock to the angle iron. You could drill your four mounts, and then if you want to add like a little loop or a little tie down point, you can. This is actually one of the first upgrades I ever bought for this tractor. Um, back when I bought it, I did not have a welder, so I had no way of actually building this myself. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to be building a two inch hitch that'll slide right into this receiver, and uh, off the end will be the bracket to hang the weights. So it's going to be a pretty simple build. Um, shouldn't take us very long. I'll show you guys what I got for steel and we'll get going on this. All right guys, so for the steel, I have a piece of two by two square tubing. This is about 3 16 thick, so this should work just fine for what I need. Uh, and then we got a piece of flat stock. Now this is quarter by three and it should be plenty thick enough to handle the weights. The total length of this is about 13 inches. Now this is just a scrap piece that I had um, laying around, so I'm gonna use it, but I do have a whole piece of flat stock here as well. Um, 13 inches should be exactly what I need because the suitcase weights that I have, they measure about two and a half inches wide. Um, so two and a half and two and a half, that's about five inches. So five inches for two weights on one side and five inches for two weights on the other side. So that leaves us with about three extra inches. And then we're gonna have this welded right in the middle of this. So that's gonna give us maybe about a half inch on either side um, of free play with the weights to be able to get them on and off easily. Um, lastly, I got a nice piece here. This is also quarter inch thick. I'm gonna be using this for the sides or for the ends. This way the weights won't be uh, tempted to slide off the end. So this will kind of act like a stopper for the weights so that they cannot slide off. Um, and that's pretty much all there's gonna be to it. So it's gonna be very simple. Um, should be a quick, easy job. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is get this piece of square tubing marked up exactly how long I want it. I'm gonna make a cut and then we'll get to welding everything together.
Okay, so from the end of the weight to the lip is about two and a half inches. So I wanna make sure I have enough clearance here to clear this hitch when I put them on and off. So I think I'm gonna go about three inches out from the top of this plate right here. And that should give us all kinds of room to get the weights on and off. guys so I got all the main pieces here all prepped so we got our main piece here that the weight is gonna be hanging off of we've got our two end pieces here so these are gonna go on each end to keep the weights in place and then we've got our hitch here or the receiver that's gonna be welded right in the center here and that's gonna slide into my receiver hitch on the tractor uh, we got our hole drilled so that worked out good um, so now what I got to do is uncover the welder, which actually I haven't used this thing since I built the push box. I'm actually kind of excited to use it again. It's been a long time. If you guys haven't seen the video where I built my custom push box, I'll leave a little link right here in the video uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the welder all set up here. Then we can go ahead and start welding everything together.
Alright guys, well there you have it. It's all welded in place. I could finally touch it. Turned out pretty nice. Nice and beefy. I don't think this is ever going to bend. I mean, I'd really have to ram something hard with it for this thing to bend. Quarter inch is pretty much the standard for our weight brackets. So that's what I used here was quarter inch thick steel. Uh, those end caps will help to strengthen a little bit. And as I said, this is 316s 2x2 two two, uh, square stock that I used there for the hitch itself. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, hopefully I didn't ruin my camera too bad and get too much slag in the lens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some paint on this thing now and then we'll throw it on the tractor and see what it looks like. All I've got here is a semi-gloss black. Um, it's a paint and primer mix. Um, I would be painting this Kubota gray or Kubota orange if I had it, but I'm all out. I'd used it all in my push box after I finished that project. So I had pretty much used all four cans of the Kubota paint that I had. So I gotta pick up some more, but for now, semi-gloss, that'll work just fine. Well, that seems to fit pretty good. Really happy with the way it turned out. I got just enough room here for two weights on each side, which is plenty enough weight for, you know, just the front end. I don't think I'm ever gonna need a heavier than this in the front. Um, if I did, I could probably fit the 70 pound weights. These are the 50 pound weights, so I probably could fit the 70 pound weights if I needed to, but I highly doubt I'd ever need that much on the front of my tractor. So now if I ever wanted to use a grader box on the back and I was out in the woods with lots of trees around and whatnot, I really wouldn't want my loader on there. So now I actually got some front ballast to compensate for the five or 600 pounds that the rear grader box would weigh. As I mentioned before, I also do plan on getting a stump grinder. So a lot of times I'm probably not gonna want the loader on, you know, depending on, you know, how tight the spot is that I'm trying to get into. So this is gonna be definitely nice to have. I ain't gonna worry about my front end lifting up in the air anymore. Overall, I think the tractor's gonna feel much more balanced. I'm definitely excited to try mowing with it now. I'm actually kind of hoping that I won't have to do all four weights out in the front when I'm mowing. I'm thinking I could probably leave two in the back and just do two in the front, and that should be plenty enough weight in the front to keep the front end down. Um, that way, all I gotta do when I mow is throw this bracket on. I'll just bring two weights in the back up to the front, and I'll have two and two, and I think that's gonna be plenty. And if it's not, 
then all I got to do is grab two more and throw them on the front. So definitely happy with it overall. For the short amount of time it took me to build it, I think it turned out really nice. Now these weights right here, these are from Heavy Hitch. And as you can see, this isn't my weight bracket, the way these are kind of sitting funny. I wasn't all that pleased with the way I got these weights. I don't know what kind of equipment they use to cut these, but they're all cut a little bit differently. Some were actually notched kind of crooked. So if I don't have one of the weights that are cut straight on one side, one weight will actually kind of hang off to the side. So I was kind of disappointed in that. And you could also see that some of these weights aren't all the same size. So um, some are a little bit taller, some sit a little bit higher. So I kind of, I was pretty disappointed with it because if you get the John Deere weights, they're all like identical. You know, they, they look nice, they, they match really well. With these weights, you kind of got to watch the orientation in which you put them on because sometimes they'll try to hang off to the side and whatnot. So sometimes you got to play around with them so that they actually sit straight. So that would be my one complaint with heavy hitch weights. Um, next time I buy weights, I won't be buying theirs. I'll definitely be buying the John Deere weights just because I think the fit and finish on them weights are much better than these. Um, but yeah, that's why that sits a little bit weird like that. That's not my weight bracket. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Overall, I'm really happy with it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys uh, learned something and maybe you want to try and tackle this yourself. It's really not a complicated job. Hopefully by watching my video, you guys will be able to build your own weight bracket for the front and be a little bit more stable out there when you guys are mowing. I got another side job coming up uh, this weekend, so I will be doing that. Hopefully I can get that video posted this weekend. If not, I'll try to get it posted during the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.